This is problem six. It's a concept question. It's asking, which of the following is not an example of accelerated motion? Number one, you have horizontal component of projectile motion. Two, vertical component of projectile motion. Three, circular motion at constant speed. Four, a swinging pendulum. And five, motion around about the sun. So, let's go from five to one. All right. So Earth's motion around the sun. You have Earth here, and then it goes around the sun. What's causing it to go around the sun? The gra gravitational force that the sun is exerting on Earth. Gravitational force. Force is equal to m a. There is acceleration. Not only that. But it's going in a circle, so that means that direction is changing. That means that there has to be acceleration as well. There is acceleration, even if it's going the same speed, there is acceleration if the direction is changing. Okay? So 5 is out. Swinging pendulum. Okay? You have pendulum that goes back and forth. Okay? Alright? Like, like a grandfather clock. It goes back and forth. Now, when it's at the top, it's stopped momentarily. When it's at the bottom, it's going its fastest. When it's at this up top, it's stopped momentarily. That means there are varying speeds. Also, it's changing direction. It's going in a somewhat circular motion. At least the bottom part of the circle. Also, another point as to why this is not, uh, uh, why this has acceleration, is that you have gravity that's doing, that's causing, the gravitational force is what's causing it to move back and forth. So that is not an option. Circular motion at a constant speed. Okay. So, going around a circle round and around, constant speed. We've already gone over how you're changing directions, so that's an acceleration. There's centripetal force that, go, that keeps you in the circle. Think about it this way. If you're driving a car and you turn, you feel a force to go out. Your body is an accelerometer. Everybody's body is an accelerometer. It met, you can feel acceleration. You feel acceleration going out of the turn. So that means that there is acceleration when you turn and a circle is just constant turning. So there is acceleration there. Vertical component of a projectile. Alright, this is a projectile. You got a ca little cannon right here. Got a cannon. Alright, at some angle theta. Alright, it has a horizontal and a vertical component. Okay, the vertical component of a projectile is this. It has gravity pulling down on it consistently. That's why when it's shot up, it slows down and it only reaches a certain height. It'll probably stop around here. Do, 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 do. Stops and then it starts to speed up real fast going back towards the Earth's surface because of gravity. Gravity, gravitational force, is equal to m mg, which is equal to ma, which is acceleration. So that has acceleration in it. Now, let's look at this guy. Horizontal component. The same if you kick a ball, the ball keeps going sideways. The only thing stopping it is the grass that is going. If you throw something in the air, it's the same speed leaving your hand horizontally as it is when it touches the ground. Now, there is wind resistance. That is a force. But in physics 1 and 2, they don't care about wind resistance. They consider it negligible at all times. You never account for wind resistance. So, 
you always think horizontal component of the projectile, there is no acceleration. Same speed here as it is here in terms of that. In terms of that. Same as this. Okay? So this is the correct answer. Horizontal component.